This episode focuses on groundbreaking advancement in the field of anesthesia and analgesic drugs for cancer patients. My guest, Dr. Josh Mincer from Memorial Sloan Catering Cancer Center in New York, will share how principles of precision oncology are being applied to study the effect of anesthetic and analgesic drug on cancer outcomes through the lens of patient underlying tumor genomics. These cutting edge studies, along with future research, could significantly impact cancer patient survival rates and chances of reoccurrence. This line of research is particularly important since most anesthetic and pain medications are generic drugs. As a result, the findings of these studies could enhance patient outcome without incurring additional costs. Most cancer patients may be exposed over time to increasing dosages of opioids as they develop tolerance, right? And so this line of research is super significant because the opioid effect on the anti-cancer drug may increase over time. So it's makes a lot of point. It makes a lot of sense to to look into it. I agree. And and think about that for a moment, right? We're not claiming that the drugs we give in anesthesia and pain are curing cancer, for instance, or are making the patient's survival tremendously worse. I mean, these aren't cancer drugs. We're just arguing that that there is an effect there uh, and interactions there. Um, but you know, in in oncology, if you can move the needle, even a few percentage points, if you can increase lifespan by a few months, let alone a year or more, if you can do that for more patients, so the probability of, of, of increased life occurring for more patients, you know, in oncology, there are drugs being developed, expensive drugs that might, that are only looking to push the needle a few percentage points. So we're making the same argument. And as you said, all the more so, again, not an uncommon scenario. Um, due to opioid tolerance, you'll have patients um, who have been receiving opioids for their cancer pain, who are now at getting tremendous doses of opioids. So even if the effect is relatively small for a sort of normal dose of opioids, it might be in patients receiving much higher doses, the effect is more pronounced. Uh, I think that that's very intuitive and makes sense and you know has to be has to be studied further. Yes.